Now I have here a Geo 110. It has an Intel Celeron N4020 and 4 gigabytes of RAM. And at the moment it's useless because I pay about 20 US dollars on this one. The reason is that the battery inside of it doesn't work. There's no battery inside. So it has to always stay plugged in. Now I'm not going to use it as a laptop. I'm going to use it to transform it into a NAS and a media server using Jellyfin. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to do that in a very easy way. Now what you want to do is download Debian 12 and Balena Etcher and you will have both links in the description. So if you go to Debian 12 for example on Google, all you have to do is just you click on it and you click on this link over here and then that will be it, you download Debian. And then Balena Etcher is the same thing, you download Balena Etcher and you install it. Once that one is finished, you open it and you just flash it as a USB drive. Now you, you need a USB drive minimum of 32 gigabytes but pretty sure everybody will have that one. So once you open it, you just flash file, you go to your downloads and you select Debian 12. Here you select the drive where your USB stick and then you click flash and then that's it. You will have it installed. Now I will show you guys how to install and Debian installation will be a little bit different because you won't have an interface on it. So I do apologize, but the quality of the installation will be a little bit bad because I don't have a way to record this. Well, the screen directly so I have to use my phone to record it but yeah let's jump into the installation so now that we have the USB ready all we have to do is just plug it in the computer you can do this with every laptop I'm using this laptop because it's what I have and you turn it on and then you go to BIOS and you make sure that you put this computer to boot from the USB stick now my apologies for the quality here it's just I don't have a way to record it so unfortunately oh my god this looks like this looks so bad so how you can see it's already booting for uh well no because booting for the hard drive so USB hard drive here save and save and now we will install Debian with the graphical installer because this one is the easiest way to to do it in my opinion right because then you can connect to Wi-Fi and everything so you don't need Ethernet cable to actually run your server now it will be the best way to do it will be having ethernet cable so an adapter so you can plug the ethernet cable but in case you don't have any adapter you can still use it via wi-fi so here we will choose continue i'm from the united kingdom so i choose this and continue british keyboard that's fine so here you will connect to your wi-fi put your password here Here you put whatever you want, I'll just put Casa OS, domain name, I don't put nothing, root password, if you, I'll just put one, you put whatever password you want, username, Casa OS, I'll put the same thing, and the password of the username, I'll put the same as one. So here what I will do, I will use entire disk because like this is much easier and you have to hassle. So this is my SD card, be careful, the hard drive here. So you put the first one here and all in one partition, finish, yes. And how you can see here is installing the system. Now all we have to do is just wait for this installation to, to go there. And then we will add, it will be ask us to choose some things and we're going to modify a little bit so we don't have an interface on this one. So like this, you don't have a desktop version, it's only the command prompt. So here, the configuration of the package, you just click enter, the first one, don't put nothing in the proxy. So here, if you want to participate, I just click no. And here is where the magic happens. So desktop environment, right, I will choose nothing because I don't want any desktop environment, but I do want an SSH server. And if you want, you can put as a, a web server as well. So I'll connect to SSH server and click continue. So how you can see installation is complete and now we're going to continue. We'll click continue and we're going to get ready to get the USB stick out. It's doing the cleaning. And now, requesting reboot and then that's it now we take the usb stick we'll leave it here and now debian is fully installed on our computer now you can either continue to use the debian well the laptop's keyboard but you won't have an interface to install casa os or we can use our router to find out what ip address we have and like this we will be able to just 
you know, uh, set up and everything. And then we will just use Debian from our computer. Now, here is the type one. So login, I'll just put CasaOS and the password that I have here. And how you can see now, I'm logged in to CasaOS. So if I do sudo apt update, my apologies, let's type just su, put the root password that you put, in my case it's still one, and now sudo apt update. Well, I don't have to put su anymore, so that's fine. So how you can see is doing everything it's up to date. So apt upgrade. And now how you can see, I have nothing. Now the easy way I'll do it like this. So you don't have to like search for, uh, for your IP address and everything like this. So what I'll do, I'll just manually type what I need to do to install Casa OS. So that will be curl minus you will have what you need in the description i'm doing this one only because there's a lot of people who doesn't know how to use the routers so i guess if you don't know your ip address all you have to do is just type like this and then cast always will actually tell us the ip address at the end when it's uh when it's fully installed that io my apologies that io and how do i put like this yeah sudo bash or well, for some okay so apt install curl because we don't have it installed click yes and now we can just use the command and it will still say tell us that the sudo is not so we just use it like this without the sudo. So how you can see right now, it's actually starting to install Casa OS. So all we have to do is just wait. Now, this is the easy way. The reason why I'm doing it like this and I'm not using the IP address to connect is so, you know, for those ones of you who doesn't know how to check the IP address that it was given to this laptop, there's no problem. Casa OS will let us know at the end when it's fully installed. And how you can see, we have an IP address right here. Now, this is the IP address that we have on this computer. Now, let's jump into our desktop and let's search this out. So now that we're on the computer, we're just going to go to our browser and we put 192.168.0.103, which is the new IP address that we got. And how you can see, now we're on Casa OS. So we're going to continue here. We're going to put a name for it. So I'm going to put Geo because that's the name of the laptop. And you're going to put a password. Now, this is the password that you will use to log into Casa OS. So always remember this password. And now we're just going to continue. Well, create. And here it's actually creating us. Well, yeah, show it. And here it's our Casa OS interface. Now, how you can see, actually found an extra hard drive. So the USB hard drive that I plugged in into the laptop. And now we're having a server. Now, what we can do, we can go to uh, two settings here, right? And you can either merge the total storage of it, or you can keep it separate. Now, for example, for merge, I already, for example, for some reason, already merged it for me. So for some reason, you know, that one was thing. Uh, this is the first time I'm seeing this. So maybe for you, it'll be different. But when you go to files here, how you can see we have update, app data, documents, download, gallery, and media. So here you have all of the things that you have. My hard drive, how you can see it's already empty. But if I create a new folder and this is, let's call it Casa OS share. I right click on it and I just share it. And once I share it, how you can see it will give you for Windows or for Mac. So for Mac, all I have to do is just copy this one. Continue. Go into my finder, going to go, connect to server here, and I just paste what they gave me. And now I click connect. Now it will ask you here for a username and password. I'll just go as guest because you don't have to put a username and password. And voila, I'm in the Casa OS server. So what can you do here? Well, you can do everything here. You can copy paste exactly how you will do with a normal file. So for example, if I'll take this LG Boom, it's a video that I just posted and I can paste that here on my server. So you will automatically start copying and things like this to my server. And how you can see, it's 
working perfectly. Now, this is just if you want to share your files, right? But what happens when you want more from your laptop? You want to put some movies there, you want to put some stuff there. Well, if I go back to Castle OS here, how you can see we have the App Store. And the reason why I choose Castle OS is because it's one of the easiest one to actually use because it's just one click and you install the thing that you need. So you have AdGuard, you have Jellyfin. Let's install Jellyfin, for example. And how you can see, I just click install and you automatically start doing it. I can continue in the background or I can leave it installing here. And I, I think it's a really good interface, really helpful for new users, especially because it's easy to use. And if somebody who doesn't know about, about you know, home servers installing this, then you know they'll be happy with something like this, easy. So how you can see, this one is installing while this one is still copying. So it's going to be less than one minute to copy uh, to continue copying that thing. Now keep in mind because I'm on Wi-Fi, it's not Ethernet. Yeah, it will take a little bit longer to actually, you know, continue to actually copy the files and stuff like this. It's not as fast as Ethernet, but it will still do the job. So if you're not looking for something like really fast and stuff like this, it will still work. It will still do the job for you. Now, how you can see, uh, cast, uh, sorry, Jellyfin, Ryan, it's almost, almost complete. And we just have to wait for it to finish. And then if you want, we can choose something else. For example, we can install Home Assistant. Now, if you don't, don't know what Home Assistant is, Home Assistant is an application, technically, like a web app, that it will help you control your stuff in the house, your smart things. So you will turn off the lights, you will turn on the TV, turn off the TV, etc. listen to music, etc. So you have a lot of possibility using old technology or cheap technology to make it work. So how you can see, Jellyfin is now installed. And now if I go to my hard drive, as I always share, I do have the LG Boom here. And I can see I have the recordings here. Now let's open Jellyfin. Now keep in mind, if you sometimes, for example, see I need to add the server, that means Jellyfin is not fully open. So what I do, I just click close it and then reopen it. See, and it will still do the same thing. Still close it, still reopen it. And now eventually we'll come up with the setup. So I'll click next. You create a username for Jellyfin. I'll just put Casa OS, put the password one, leave everything simple. And no, I don't want to say the password, add library. And here you choose what you want to add. So if you want to add movies, you want to add music, you want to add whatever, I'll just choose movies, I'm sorry. And then I'll choose the folder. I'll go into media, movies, if I have any TV shows here, but I don't have any. But if I go to the merge, about uh, which one was it? I always get confused in this. I think it's merge here and I click OK. You will take the folder. So I click next. Here I'm from the United Kingdom. Next and next and finish. And how, how you can see now I can log in. I'm pretty sure I put a password one. No. Didn't I put a password one? Did I put Casa OS? Yeah, I put Casa OS. And how you can see, I have my movies here, but there's no movies inside there and stuff like this. So what Jellyfilm will do will, you know, scroll your library and find movies for you and stuff like this. Now let's add, because I have some files here and see how you can see in media and movies, I don't have nothing. But if I go to Casa OS, LG Boom, and I just click or well, select these two things, which probably they will be like uh, shots of the speaker that I did. And I'll just paste it here. I'll wait for it to end how you can see now they're here. Now, if I open Jellyfin again, apologies, I open it twice. I still have nothing here because it's the folder that I told it. There's nothing inside of it, but I go into settings and in dashboard. Yeah, settings and dashboard here. I have my libraries. Now, if I go to library here, how you can see I only have this one, but I can add another one. How many you want you can add? And here I just see media and movies, continue, continue. And here I have another folder, which is movie two. Now it will start automatically scan the library for me. And now when we're going home, how you can see, I actually have now the two recordings that I did. So if I click on it,
I can actually see my recording and everything that I did. So here, imagine that you can put movies here. I don't have nothing here, so that's fine. But here you can put movies and then you can literally just, you know, use it how you want it and make it, you know, a library full of your own movies. You can put music as well. You can put whatever you want. Keep in mind this one. You can even put your pictures if you want here. So Jellyfin, it's a really, really good way of using this laptop as a server, making a home server, but at the same time sharing files and things like that. And you can install all kinds of applications. You can just, you know, imagination is the limit. You know, it has Home Assistant, how I said. It has ad blocks, how I said. You have Brave, so you can install the web browser if you want to over the internet. And I guess you just use the IP address and you can connect to it and things like this. You know, Chromium has all kinds of applications. And I, in my opinion, I have Image. And if you don't know what this is, it's a Google photo replacement. So you will back up all your pictures and all your videos automatically to your home server. And you can then, you know, have your own stuff rather than just put it away. Like home Assistant is right here, how you can see. So yeah, rather than throwing it away, or if you find a really cheap deal how I had, then this is perfect for you because you have a home server, you have your own movie library, you have everything, and it's only costing you $20. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you do like it, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next one.